Welcome back Machines and Machinettes. Right, today, a lot of people when they train their abs, they forget their obliques. So we're going to show you a little bit of oblique workout, which is going to be these ones on the side here. Alright, so we're going to show you a few things. I feel weird doing that. <laughs> we're going to show you a few... <laughs> We're going to show you a few things for bleak, so let's do it. Right guys, so the first one of two that we're going to show you is, well, if you're lucky enough to have a set of cables, is a what we call a wood chop. Um, you may have seen us do it with a handle. We're doing it with a rope as a natural progression because you've then got to stabilise the rope a little bit more. First of all, the main thing to remember, keep your hips nice and square. You're turning with your top half to work the obliques. You'll see a lot of people twisting through the legs. You don't want to do that. You want to isolate the top half of the obliques. So get a half decent weight. Shoulder in front, pull straight down and across the body, and then keep it nice and slow on the way back, just to keep the tension on all the time. And the main thing to remember, obviously do it both sides, so down from the other side, and pull it in and across, tense those obliques down. And remember, training just the same as any other muscle group, 10 to 12 reps, get some really strong obliques down that panel and on the side. Get involved. Right, so next one we've got for you guys is what we like to call an oblique shrug. So grab yourself a dumbbell or a plate of a decent weight. Are you slightly lighter today so I can talk to you? Remember, pick the dumbbell up properly. Right, what I like to do is put my hands down my side so I can take that dumbbell down to my knees and I've got a depth gauge with the other hand. Some people like to go up from here and you need a good crunch down on your obliques. Remember to do one side, then the other. Alright, so keep your back nice and upright, slightly soft knees, and there's no point, we've said a hundred times before, having a weight in both hands. Because effectively, you might as well be doing that, because it's just counterbalancing. So one weight in one hand, you can even do it on cable if you want to, and that's going to also help work on your obliques. Awesome! So that is our super quick video on how to get your obliques involved, alright? So on the sides here. So just remember, get out there and try it, two to three sets of everything, give them a good hard work, and if you haven't, Hurry up and subscribe in the top corner and we'll be back soon. Cheers Thanks guys. for watching guys.